Greetings! This is Sarah Canary, a technical writer in the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. Today, I'm going to show you how to deploy your code manually using the Git version control interface in cPanel and WHM version 74. This feature allows you to easily host Git repositories on your cPanel account, and, starting in version 74, supports both push, or automatic, and pull, or manual deployment. Git's version control software tracks changes in a system of files that multiple users can manage simultaneously. Deployment performs the tasks to move those changes into production. For example, if you're a web developer, you could use a cPanel-hosted repository for development and then deploy changes to your public website whenever you're ready. The first step to configuring deployment is to decide which type of deployment your project needs. With push or automatic deployment, you first pull new changes from a remote repository to your local computer. Then, you can push those changes to your cPanel managed repository. cPanel will deploy the changes automatically whenever it receives them, using the commands that you configured for deployment. This is the type of deployment that we recommend you use. If you want to use this method of deployment, check out our other deployment video for everything you need to know. With pull, or manual deployment, you first push new changes from your local computer to the remote repository. Then, you can use the cPanel interface to deploy those changes manually with just a couple of clicks. This is the kind of deployment I'll show you in this video. First, you want to set up the repository that your cPanel account will host. For push deployment, that means cloning a remote repository. If you need help doing this, check out our main Git version control video. Once you've got your cPanel hosted repository created, you want to clone the remote repository to your local computer. You can do this on the command line of your local computer with the git clone command and your remote repository's clone URL. Clone URLs usually look something like this. So, for this clone URL, I'd run this command. And, if everything's successful, I'll get a message like this. The .cpanel.yaml file tells cPanel what to do during deployment, so setting that up is next. It needs to be a valid YAML file, and start with these three lines up here. Then, you add whichever commands you'd like cPanel to run as a list like this. To use this file, cPanel needs the file to be checked in to the top-level directory of your repository. You can create and commit it to your local computer's copy of the repository, or you can create and commit it on the remote repository. Of course, to check it into the remote repository, you'll need read-write access or the ability to submit a pull request to the remote repository. Whenever you have new changes to deploy, you first need to use the git push command from your local computer to send the changes that you want to deploy to your remote repository. Now, you're ready to pull changes from the remote repository onto your cPanel account and deploy them. First, let's log in to cPanel and navigate to the git version control interface. From here, locate the repository in the list and then click Manage. A new interface will appear. Click the Pull or Deploy tab to access the repository's deployment information. Click Update from Remote to pull all of the new changes from your remote repository. Then, click Deploy Head Commit to deploy the changes. You'll need to perform these steps manually every time that you want to deploy new code. For more information about cPanel, visit cPanel.com or follow at cPanel on Twitter. Thanks for watching and happy automating!